Dad's RC here again. It's your favourite radio controller in Mangatangi. Nick here, and uh, today we were uh, busy down here having a bit of a tidy up in the workshop. And uh, as we did so, it sort of occurred to me that I thought I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Now, uh, this is what I consider a pretty good little home build. You know, like if you've got bits and pieces laying around, two wheel drive Traxxas platform, it's great. So uh, this we call the Speed Rustler and you know there's nothing too special it's got the Anaconda tyres, Bandit wheels etc but the big trick with this thing is the chassis extension. Now we used to run this thing all the time up and down the road round and round but as soon as we applied any kind of uh, speed to it would blow over the whole thing just fly up big cartwheel in the air and it got wasted. I mean look at the body shell. It tells you everything you need to know. Now in here, look what we've done, we've extended it. Now this is normally where the rear bulkhead attaches to the chassis. But as you can see, it's extended. So what we've used is basically this nylon uh, material, plastic material, full length right through and by doing that we've managed to add the length in here this is where we needed it so that's sort of the basis and it also gave us a wing mount for the front now I think this downforce in the front seems to work because that wasn't bent to start with it's purely bent down by aerodynamic force and probably a couple of crashes guys eh? so uh, yeah the other thing this car has got is mod 1 gears pretty tight in the slipper clutch VXL gears which is the uh, these little steel suckers here uh, I think the brushed version comes with plastic ones they're a pretty cheap tractor upgrade here's some of our drive shafts that we've um, screwed up look at that and that was just from overpowering the thing you got to be careful um, so yeah the other thing we've done obviously was put in these uh, metal drive shafts they did everything that we needed now so as I've shown you extended it in here a few screws and things that that's a bit sneaky this ice cream container guys and that's what you can do on the cheap gives you a handy place to mount your uh, ESC that's a uh, 150 quick run hobby wing great little thing sweet as run it on 6s but uh, mostly just have the jumper in there and use three. Three S fits nicely in the battery tray. Um, we've got a little gyro meter there, which um, I can tell you when these tires balloon up and you've got it on the wood and it starts doing this down the road, I mean, you can end up going curb to curb, guys, and that's when this guy comes in real handy. And uh, it saved me from a lot of crashes. Uh, we use a bit of a JLB wing mount there, some hot glue and um, just modified stuff you know stuck it on there we've got some JLB shocks I think the front one's the team associated that's a spare wolf uh, wing off our 20th buggy now the reason we went for three inches is if you look at the body shell you can just fit the rear shocks and keep the standard holes in the front so it keeps the proportions right it puts the wheel right out of the right out of the wheel well but the body shell still fits and it still sort of looks like a rustler guys now uh, the other thing that I've sort of read online and stuff is make sure that the rear doesn't get lower than the front otherwise you know you get a reverse wedge and you're gonna get a blowover so usually you want to wedge it and when guys I used to have a Camaro um, yeah it was pretty cool it was just a big wedge and it used to go fast guys I used to love it but um, look, here we are now, the world's changed. Uh, we can still race out here for real. We just do it in tenth scale. So anyway, uh, there's a quick overview of the Speed Rustler, everybody. Um, I know a lot of guys in America are doing it. They've been doing it at it for years. Guys, they've got bandits, they drag race them, they've got big wheelie bars out the back. You know, they're way more advanced than us, but if you've got some stuff lying around, this is the sort of thing you can do, a little project. Uh, and uh, just don't do too crazy on the power. But um, anyway, here we go. And uh, 
thanks for tuning in guys like and subscribe yeah, I'm really trying to um, make the point that you can still do cool stuff outside with your kids this is sport you know it trains your brain it keeps you sharp you know your hand and eye coordination getting involved electric cars it's the way of the future